update to a story we brought you earlier this year. A volunteer who advocates for people living in nursing homes said that Iowa needs more like him, more volunteers and even family members to just check in on people in nursing homes. And when we shared this message, viewers answered the call. KCRG TV9's Molly Swain is in the studio with just what has changed. It's viewers answering the call. There are nine employees who work on the local level and until recently, 50 volunteers who monitor the care of hundreds of people in nursing homes and care facilities in Iowa. After our story aired, more volunteers stepped up, but Iowa's nursing homes can use even more. I wish there were 10 more of our staff. Pam Railsback is in charge of advocating for all nursing home and care facility residents in Benton, Lynn, Iowa, Johnson, and Washington counties. Ideally, the standard for staffing is one ombudsman for every 200 residents, and I think right now we have in Iowa one ombudsman for every, like, 700 residents. Ombudsmen like Railsback protect the welfare and the rights of people living in these facilities. She and her counterparts have help from volunteers. Until recently, there were 50 in the entire state of Iowa. From the last um, news article that you did, uh, I know we got five reach outs and two of them are almost through the training program, so that's pretty exciting. Five new volunteers is just a handful, but it's also a 10% increase for a program that's stretched and grateful for all the help that comes their way. Our, our territories are huge. We don't, it, it's hard for us to be everywhere. So really having that volunteer program and people available to be assigned, it's great to have people to support the residents. Volunteers are assigned to a specific care facility. The minimum commitment to be a volunteer is three hours a month. I'll put more information on how to sign up on our website under this story. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG TV9 News.